Hi, class of 2027 Future Panthers. This is Mrs. Schaefer from Round Lake High School. I just wanted to quickly go over some general information with you and about course selection, part one of the Welcome to High School series um, that is going to be happening in January. So first, I just want to show you what the caseloads are going to be for the 2023-2024 school year. Um, so you can kind of look at where your last name fits on the left. Uh, so for example, if you have a last name that's A, then you are under my caseload, Mrs. Schaefer. If you're B through CO, you have Ms. Shustaf and so forth. Um, and hopefully on the night where you come virtually to meet with us, you will be connected to your counselor so you can meet them face to face on the computer. So what do counselors do? When do you see them? Uh, we wear a lot of different hats in the school, and so I just wanted to get, give you a brief overview of what we do. So one of the things we do is scheduling. So we will be meeting with you guys in January to tell you where you're placed, um, you will pick your electives, and then we will eventually create a schedule for you. Then when you are here next year as a freshman, if you have any issues with your schedule, you need to change anything in your schedule, you'd come see us. You will talk to us at, about your academics, so class concerns. We will be calling you down at the quarters. Uh, if you're struggling, that's something you can come to us with. We also do social emotional, so if you're having any issues with your family or peers or any personal things going on, we're here for that. And we also help you with post-secondary. So we help you get through high school and then what you want to do after high school. So you will see this many times over the four years you're here. And so it's good for you guys to start thinking about graduation requirements now, even though you're not in the high school yet. But you need, a 20, you need 23 total credits. So four credits in English. That means every year you're taking an English class. You need three credits of both math and science and three and a half of social studies. However, you'll see a little star next to it. If you are planning to go to college, we recommend you take all four years of the core. So core meaning English, math, science, and social studies. You have four credits in PE. So that includes your health that you will take freshman year. And then if you take driver's ed sophomore year, that will be included in those four credits. And then the rest is made up of our electives, which are of your choosing. Um, and that's something that we will go over in January. So what is a credit and how do I earn one? Um, most high school classes are worth 0.5 credit per semester. So for example, when you are a freshman and you are sitting in your English one semester one class, that's worth 0.5 of a credit. Second semester is worth 0.5 of a credit. So that's one credit at the end of that year of English. Um, but in order to earn the credit, you must pass the class. That means you are earning a grade of D or above. Um, but we will talk to you a lot about your GPA and starting off strong right when you step foot at Round Lake High School because you want your GPA to be as high as you can. So we really recommend getting a C or above in all of your classes. At the end of your freshman year, you will have, want to have a minimum of at least five credits. That means that you are considered on track for graduation. You, a lot of freshmen end with five to six credits and some even go all the way up to seven, but you want to have a minimum of five credits to be on track. This is just the bell schedule. Um, you will learn this uh, throughout your time here. We uh, go from first period being at 7.50 all the way until 3.15 at the end of the day. A lot of students start period one and are done by eighth period or start period two and are done by ninth period. It really just is dependent on the classes you choose or the classes you are placed into. And then those periods highlighted are the lunch periods. So periods four through eight is when you can get a lunch. So like I said, this is, we have a two part series because there's a lot of information to cover. So part one is gonna be the virtual course selection night. Um, we learned that over COVID, at least it taught us something, that uh, doing it virtually is time-wise very sufficient for you guys as a family. So you're not waiting 30 minutes to see a counselor. Uh, what you'll do is uh, Zoom 
link will be sent out to families and you. You will log in on your assigned night, and I'll go over the dates in a second. Um, and that's where you'll find out what we were you placed into in your English, Math, Science, and Social Studies. And if room permits, you'll choose that elective. Um, and then part two is going to be an in-person event, um, and that's going to be in March, more details to come. But that's where you'll get a tour of the school. There'll be a clubs and sports fair going on, and there'll be school information um, at that event as well. Like the nurse is usually there to tell you what kind of physicals you need. Um, we have TRIO there that gives you information on how to get more tutoring and help and post-secondary help and things like that. So two-part series, first one being in January. And like I said, just to give you more details, you will get a link. I will be emailed to you and your families. On your assigned night, you will log in. You will come to a main area where most likely Mr. Bruno, our college and career counselor, will be there to greet you. And as counselors become available, you and your family will be placed in a breakout room with hopefully your counselor specifically, but not always depending on how many people are there at the same time. Um, and you will go over what you were placed into and then what electives you would like to take. So here are the virtual course selection nights. So if you are someone that's attending John T. McGee, your assigned night is Tuesday, January 17th, and you can log in. We're not going to assign like when your specific time is, any time between the hours of 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. It shouldn't take longer than 15 minutes. Um, could take less if there's less people there, could take more if there's more people there. But just I would plan about 15 minutes for that. Round Lake Middle is Thursday, January 19th um, from 4 to 8 p.m. And then there's a makeup night. So if you can't attend on your assigned night, then you can come to the makeup night, which is on Wednesday, January 25th, same time, anytime between 4 and 8 p.m. Again, if you can't attend on any of these nights, you can contact me, Sarah Schaefer, um, at Round Lake High School. Um, a letter will be coming out. So if any of these nights don't work for you, just contact me and we kind of will go from there. I'm so excited for this two-part series, and I can't wait to meet all of you, and we are super excited for our future Panthers.